well, first of all, what an incredible movie. Mm-hmm. And you feel as an audience member like you're there. And I know that you guys did too. Mm-hmm. From shooting on locations and all the preparation that you did, how did how did you all come together by just facing the elements? How did that create the on-screen bond that we feel with the characters? That was Balt primarily. I mean, Balt got picked these guys. I mean, we had problems from the beginning, which was the fear factor that kept coming up for some people, including myself, about how far are we actually going to go? Like, what are we talking about? Like, how much are we going to be outside? How high are we going to go? How precarious is it? How, you know, are we going to be on sheer cliffs? Or is it thousand foot cliffs or is it 20 foot cliffs? Is it, you know, and, every, and I think Ball <laughs> left it elusive enough where it, it uh, like, p- there were some emotions in the room and there was, because you couldn't get your head around the security of it. You know, and actors, as, as adventurous as they seem to come across at times, I think also are, you know, security hounds and like, am I still going to be comfortable and where's my trailer going to be? And this is not that kind of film. No, it definitely seemed like a balance of, you know, there's serious acting, but a lot of experiencing. And that must yeah, be. that's exactly what it was. Yeah. Some acting and a lot of experiencing. And, you know, and when, not that morale would get down, but things got difficult at times. So we would go back and, and remind ourselves There'd usually be a person, sometimes it'd be me, sometimes it'd be Jake or whatever, Jason, that would, you know, circle everybody around and go, remember why we're doing this. Remember what this, remember people actually really went through this. So then morale would be lifted again and then we'd gung-ho it, you know, back to the next shot or the next day. Um, but yeah, every, every day presented enough obstacles to feel like you were actually earning your pay. Well, I, it, the remember, and doing and giving due respect to the people involved in the story. Yeah, and that I mean, those sort of elements sort of help answer this next question, which is the big question is why? Why are you doing this? Why are you climbing Everest? And you know, the joke because it's there. But as an actor, where you're going to be facing all this physical, you know, uh, pressure and intensity, why do you take on a role like this? Why do you do? I don't. It? I ask myself that all the time. It's yeah. like, why didn't you just do Terminator Salvation? Everything would have been fine. You could have stayed at home. You could have had a Ferrari, you know, stuff. Lots of gas to put in the Ferrari. You could have gotten a motorcycle. Um, I don't know, man, because this is the life that, I, that I'm, I'm very blessed to be able to live this kind of existence where I get to kind of touch all these people or touch on all these people. And I, 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 I see the responsibility in it. Um, I really enjoy doing it when it works out well. I don't like it when it doesn't work out well. So when you have a movie like Everest, um, as difficult as it was at times, it's all made up for in one viewing. And seeing it now, you see in IMAX 3D, it just seems like everything, this is the perfect time to show and tell this story. It's, yeah, yeah. I don't know if it's the, it seems to work out that way, but it always seems to work out that way. You know, when you have a good movie, the timing is great. Yeah. It's the good movie part that you're trying to <laughs> nail down. The timing of it, not really. Yeah. It's the good movie part, you know? Mm-hmm. And, and I think everybody longs for an incredible story. And from what I've seen in people watching the story, they seem um, lassoed. That's exactly it. Nice. And I think the mountain means something different to everyone. And yeah. what do you think it is about Everest that has captured the imaginations of, of so many people? Well, it's the highest place on earth, so it becomes, you know, a mythological status. And if you can touch mythology, that means that you're extraordinary. So, you know, to be one of the very, very few people that touches that, you know, that touches the extraordinary, I think, you know, allows you to differentiate yourself, at least conceptually differentiate differentiate yourself from other people you know it's like what John Hawks's character says you know Doug Hansen I do it for the kids so they know that there's something to strive for they know the extraordinary is possible and that's it is it irresponsible because it it's Everest maybe but then again what does that even mean you know it's all relative so you may not make it he didn't make it but you know what he got very close twice and that may have been enough for a complete life that nobody else will ever get to experience. I don't know. I don't. Who's to judge? You know. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. For thank the you. Time. Thank you for yeah. the movie. Of course.